Do something for me. Of course. Touch one of the stones. What? I just want to see if you're the kind of man I think you are. What sort of man is that? And you just want me to touch it. Just... Yes, please. <laughs> No, the village idiot. Just my luck. What do you mean? Get out of my way before I whack what's left of this bike round your straggy neck. You're different then. What do you mean? Not mindless like the others. What's your name? Matthew. Friends are few and far between now, dear Matthew. If you want one, go to the sanctuary and wait. They will know. They will find you. Adam? 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 Mm. Oh, thank the gods you're all right. Mm. It was stupid of me. I had no idea, no idea the reaction would be so violent. Oh, look, here's some water. This is no time of day to be taking a bath. In that cupboard, you'll find a bottle of scotch and a glass. A large glass. On yourself. No, no, I don't like it. I hate to ask, but what happened? You don't know. You don't remember. I'm not sure what I remember. Oh, it was my fault. I took you out to the circle and asked you to touch a stone. To see if you're the kind of man I think you are. Yes. What did that mean? A man of sensitivity i'm so confused you're confused where's matthew on his way back from school i should think oh. but sensitivity to what when i first came to milbury to take over the museum i read a fringe lunatics book about the psychic force in standing stones a force that only certain people 
perceptives, I think the writer called them, could feel. Well, I touched that same stone and I felt something, a shock. But nothing like the sort of shock you must have felt. But that wasn't psychic force. That was electromagnetic energy, a perfectly natural phenomenon. Well, even though you were earthed and so was the stone. There must be some perfectly simple explanation. There is. For what? Psychic forces don't obey the same laws as electromagnetic ones. <laughs> Come on, Margaret. There's nothing psychic about residual magnetism. You don't have to have special powers to receive a common or garden electric shock. Well, it was hardly common or garden. You flew through the air with the greatest of ease. Yes. There was certainly a great deal of energy there. <laughs> I can't wait. Matthew, are you all right? Are you hurt? No, Dad. I've just fell off my bike. You certainly made a mess of that bike, didn't you? It's never exactly Tour de France. Well, if it's on the cottage inventory, you can pay for it out of your own allowance. Maybe I can sell the wreckage. The Tate Gallery might buy it. <laughs> Dad, mm -hmm. this stone doesn't look upright. Neither do the others. Well, what do you expect after 4,000 years? Now, leave this, I'll do it. Good. Come in. What do you want? I need your help. You put that in my snare. Seemed a good idea to use it as a post box. You let my supper go. Supper? Come in. Oh. No rabbit for a supper tonight, I. No cone if I die. Set an for a pair of pigeons, that's it. Or rooks. Well, how about a piece of chicken? Tomatoes, bread and cheese, good cheddar and fruit. Got a bit of cider. Help yourself. Sextant. Oh, theodolite. What do you know about theodolite? Who cooked this chicken? Mrs. Crabtree, what's wrong with it? How should I know? I'm no vet. I'm certainly dead. Hmm. We need uh, proper support for a plain table. Know anything about surveying? I know. Next time, a bit of tarragon under the skin, wild garlic and an old potato inside. Keep it moist. Well, do you? Yes. 
If I haven't forgotten, who used to be a miner? A coal miner? Coal, gold. I've dug for everything. <coughs> dug holes in the water for fish I have. Dug holes in the earth for bones. What do you want to survey? The circle, the stones. It's been done. Don't meddle with the stones. Got any nuts? No. The stones all seem to lean slightly towards the centre. My father reckons it's weathering or subsidence. But I was wondering, do they all lean at the same angle? And if they do, what then? I don't know, I'm not sure. Just knows ye. Leave the stones alone. But if they do align, it'll be too much to pass them off as coincidence, won't it? And if they don't, if your father's right, what then? Well, want to buy a homemade theodolite, one careful owner? What do you need to finish off your sight machine? Well, that's why I need your help. I thought if you could bodge your telescope into it, do your lenses detach? No, no chance of that, none. Listen, Di, there's lots of important figures my father and I have to collect. The only way we're going to get this particular set is if you help me. Please. Um. Just for a day or two, mind. Thanks. There's so much to do before we leave. Leave? What do you mean? Leave the circle. Leave Milbury. Yes. Leave. <laughs> Leave the stones. You never will. What do you mean? Nobody leaves the circle. Nonsense. You leave, you come and go as you please. Where do I go? The avenue, the sanctuary, the barrow. Never get away from the stones. Never get beyond their sight, boy. Never out of their grasp. Nobody ever leaves the circle. Not until the day of release. circle seems to have a rock base and the interesting thing is there's a there's a definite declivity towards the center it's as if there were a giant dish under the ground with the stones marking the perimeter another rock in the area hmm? chalk chalk gravel shale is it a natural outcrop I don't know it's interesting though, isn't it and no previous support of the fact no one spotted the dish before the geological service don't go back all that far. I should imagine by the time they started digging round here, the authorities had the circle well and truly protected from the Spade and Wellies Brigade, but it's only with our sonics that we can get that deep, at least within the circle. What about alignment? Done anything on that? Now, there's another interesting thing. Most stone circles are aligned either to the sun or the moon, right? Summer solstice, winter solstice, or both. I mean, for instance, Stonehenge is aligned for both solar and lunar predictions, but this one isn't. What about other major stars? Planets? Well, these are only early figures. I'd like you to check the calculations. But there's no obvious path of alignment. Puzzle, puzzle. Hmm. Exactly. No stone circle was constructed at random. I'm afraid I've come up against another dead end, too. Hmm? What's that? My own invention. I got the telescope from that old nut to die. Some genius. I thought the stones were leaning, remember? Oh, you made this yourself, did you? It's crude, but serviceable. I thought I was onto something, but I was wrong. The stones are actually upright, dead upright, 90 degrees. All of them? Counted 23 of them, gave up half of that. Perimeter stones? Yes. All pointing in one precise direction, but upwards. That may be it. You may be onto something, Matt. I don't believe it. I mean, no other circle has a consistent 90 degree alignment. Mm. 
if the dish was designed as a receiver for those psychic forces of yours, then it follows that the signals must come from a source directly above it. But almost like radio waves. Hmm. And they designed all this in Neolithic times. The mind boggles. It does indeed. To think that the circle could be constructed with that degree of sophistication. 4,000 years ago. Uh, what we have here is a, is a primitive jodrell bank, immovably aligned with something up there. And the question is why? <laughs> Let's worry about that later. See what the observatory can tell us first. There is nothing charted on that alignment path. Nothing? Nothing. Even I won't believe that all this was designed by some Neolithic archpriest to do nothing. Well, it is conceivable there's some obscure power source up there. That may be best left alone. Where would science be if we didn't ask questions? Now, I've asked a friend of mine in Mount Palomar to help. How? By charting the alignment path accurately. Would that take long? Well, not if it's catalogued. But Matt's cabling the coordinates to them now. You can't send this, dear. Why not? It's to America, the USA. Mount Palomar Observatory. Why can't I send it? You just can't, that's all. That'd be far too expensive. Here. Have an ice cream with the change. Vanilla. Well, I don't know. The young people. Uh, sorry I've been so long. Managed to get that telegram sent off? Hmm. Good. What's that? The alignment path. It seems to be within the constellation of the Great Bear, but there's nothing there. I told you. Could it be a void? Oh, who knows? That reminds me. You get any supper? I had a sandwich. What sandwich? Ham and banana. With gherkins and honey. Oh, yuck. You let me eat school dinners. Ah, heavy parent bit coming up. How are you getting on at school? All right. Apparently, Miss Clegg is a maths expert. Should we run up your street? Yes. Well, it's not too difficult for you, is it? I could do the stuff I was given. So what's wrong? Oh, nothing. Well, I mean, if it's all too easy for you... Oh, then... it's not that. Well, what then? Well, there seems to be two lots of children. Some are ordinary, the others are... Extraordinary? Yes. Well, in what way? Well, they're brilliant. I mean, really brilliant. Some of them are younger than me, yet they're doing problems I couldn't begin to understand. Really? And there's something else. The brilliant ones are so quiet. <laughs> Compared to you, you mean? No, I mean, they don't seem like schoolboys at all. But just because they're well-behaved? Because they're not natural. Well, I've heard some complaints in my time. But grumbling because your mates are too quiet, that's a new one. I wish I had your problem. You'd be bored out of your mind. <laughs> I'd like to try it. Um, you all right for a drink or two? Hello, hello, hello. I'm taking Margaret to the pub for an hour. So the anorak did the trick then? Don't wait up. Dad? Yeah? Do you reckon there's anything in this ley line business? I mean, this business of an international grid system, cables conducting psychic energy, it's all very unscientific. Interesting, though. What is? I've been reading up about them. Milbury claims to have more ley lines than anywhere else. 53. So if there is a system, this village could be the centre of it. So? So where's the centre of the centre? I'm sorry, Matt, you've lost me. Come and look at this. I copied these from the map in the museum. Yeah, but... but I replotted the ley lines. Ah. Now, ley lines are supposed to touch a circle at a tangent. Mm -hmm. That is, not go inside it. But these lead directly up to the stone and then stop. As if they were... Cables. Well, yes. Go on. So if they are tangents, the circle they touch has to be smaller than the stone circle. You mean a circle within the circle? Right. All right, let's see where that takes us. A house. Highfield House. It belongs to Hendrick. Highfield House belongs to your landlord. Really? I wonder if he knows. About the ley lines? Hmm. Oh, I should think so. He's pretty well informed about the local phenomena. Well, was that why the house was built just there? Well, it's Elizabethan, but it was built on the site of earlier houses. It's a bright boy, your Matthew. Well, I can't think where he gets it from. <clears throat> Come on. <laughs> oh, we can't. That's why I called for you here. 
The pub was closed when I got there. Closed? No one around the back. In fact, the whole village seems empty. So now you know. Now you know what I meant about being alone. happened about a month ago. One night, everyone just disappeared. <laughs> My guess is they turned into werewolves. <laughs> well, at least that would be an explanation. The only people about last time were Dr. Lyle and a farmer called Browning. Uh, they both got sons at school with Matthew, by the way. We were at the farm, just having dinner together, you know, getting to know one another. Well, what did they make of it? <sighs> they had no idea. I mean, they were just... Uh... They were what? Margaret? They were just... But they were recent arrivals, too. Oh. Uh. 